Hello, I'm Barry Shore. When people start thinking about certification in Lean Six Sigma, the first question that they usually ask is, what is Lean Six Sigma? What's a reasonable definition that can give me an introduction to this discipline without going into details? Well, the simple explanation is that Lean Six Sigma is a discipline that delivers customer value. And that really needs to be emphasized. That's the most important point. Aside from all of the tools and techniques that you're going to learn, the most important thing is that Lean Six Sigma delivers customer value, not from the organization's point of view, but from the customer's point of view. Now, how does it do it? It delivers customer value through efficient operations and quality standards. Now, quality standards, not just for one unit, but for the next unit and the next. So we say it delivers consistent quality. To understand it at the beginning, it's, it's best to separate Lean from Six Sigma. Lean focuses just on efficiency. It minimizes delays, errors, and waste. What do we mean by delays? Well, suppose you purchased a new mirrorless camera. Three weeks later, it doesn't work, and you send it back to a warranty center. Now, the warranty center returns it after six weeks. Okay, let's pull this apart. It probably took two days to get there. It will take two days to get it back, and warranty centers probably spend two hours repairing or replacing the unit. That's a delay. The real work was two and a fraction plus two and a fraction of days long, but it took you six weeks to get it back. Those are the kind of delays we want to eliminate. And when we do that, the process becomes more efficient and you also increase customer value and improve your brand. Now, let's look at errors. Well, best examples of errors are in the medical field. Medication errors in hospitals uh, cause great harm and death when the wrong prescription is given to a patient. So, um, well, think about also in, 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 uh, in healthcare, there's also the challenge of wrong side surgery, where you go in for a repair on the left meniscus, uh, and they accidentally repair the right one. Now, in all fairness, hospitals have come a long way in medication errors and wrong side surgeries have dramatically decreased in the last decade or two decades, but there's still errors that are made and hospitals are extremely cautious about making these kinds of errors. So, not just hospitals, but across all industries, errors need to be minimized. They're costly. Okay. Uh, last is waste. Let's see, waste. Um, you produce a computer, uh, and when it goes through final testing, the computer doesn't function to meet specs. So it has to be sent back in the line and reworked. That's waste. If you could improve the production line and the assembly line, in such a way that there are no rejects or errors at the end, then there's very little waste. So we say delays, errors, and waste are the three categories we look at when we uh, attempt to uh, make a operational process more efficient. Now, Six Sigma. Six Sigma focuses on quality and consistency, as we just said. Uh, I could give you, we all experience it, okay? Uber. Amazon, um, uh, American Airlines, um, the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, Yelp, okay? All of these organizations have an online presence. And what they want to do is deliver quality to their patients. And if they don't, the patients are very quick to enter in a comment on the website that uh, criticizes the company. Companies don't want that anymore. And it's so fast. You know, you send a customer product on Amazon, they don't like it, they're going to enter a, a, a review, two-star review, three-star review at best. When you and I want to buy something, we look at these reviews. Two-star review, forget it. Four-and-a-half-star review, yeah, that's for me. That's the brand I want to buy. So um, 
So quality control in the sort of realm of electronic commerce, instant feedback from customers has taken on an absolutely new dimension in delivering value to customers. Now, um, Lean, Six Sigma, um, how do we improve this? What do we have at our disposal in Lean Six Sigma to help organizations um, deliver better customer value? Well, I break it down into three components. First is methodology or the approach that you use to solve a problem. And we've developed something called the MAIC over many years. And what this says is here's what you do first, here's what you do second, here's what you do third. So it's sort of a systematic, ordered, logical approach to solving these types of problems, lean problems and quality consistency problems. Okay, methodology. Number two are the skills we develop by taking a course like this. We develop a bunch of skills and those skills involve tools. There are lots of tools. Tools like SciPuck, XY Matrix, Multivary Charts, Fishbone Diagrams, Pareto uh, Charts, and and we'll take a look at this a little bit more closely now, um, and that is value stream maps. Okay, what's a value stream map? Well, value suggests customer value, doesn't it? So a value stream map take all, all, takes all the steps in a process from um, order arrival or order entry. And then it takes the next step, which might be packing the order. And the next step might be shipping. Very simple example. So we have three steps. But in between those steps, there may be delays. And delays are the things, remember, that interfere with efficiency. We want to eliminate them. So by drawing a value stream map, what we do is identify the steps that contribute value as well as those situations like delays that reduce value or, or interfere with value. Um, let's give some examples. Um, Amazon comes to mind. We all use it. Uh, and it's a good example of lean. Now, when Amazon started, it took five days from the submission of the order <clears throat> online to the receipt at your door, receipt of the uh, 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 merchandise at your door, front door. Okay, wasn't competitive, says Amazon <clears throat> designers. Now we've got to do better. So what they did was they introduced Amazon Prime. Now. Two days guaranteed delivery. They made the logistics process leaner, didn't they? Then what they did was they introduced warehouses near major cities like Miami, New York, San Francisco. And from these distribution centers, they could promise same-day delivery to certain customers. Wow, that's even leaner. But they haven't stopped there. Now what they're doing is they're experimenting with drones so that if you call let's say between 8 and 10 in the morning or maybe even between noon and 2 the order can be picked attached to a drone drone flies out delivers on your doorstep just a few hours you have to wait now that's competitive and that is very very lean let's look at quality examples um, I got several in mind one is Ben and Jerry's ice cream, a high quality, high premium ice cream that includes in the ice cream mix-ins, you know, like raspberry and strawberry is mixed in, and chunks, like chocolate chunks. And what they, because it's a quality ice cream, they want to ensure that the mix-ins are in the right ratio, that the chunks are the right size and dispersed throughout the ice cream. So they have developed a, a rather extensive quality control system. And what they do is when the uh, pints come off the line, they take and they quarter them, cut them in quarters, right down, okay, right down the middle. And then they look at the mix-ins to make sure that, in fact, they're dispersed properly, that there's the right amount, and that the chunks which they can see, that there's the right amount, and they're in dispersed places within the ice cream. Another example is Aflac. You know, if you have an accident with your automobile 
and submit a claim uh, up to now and even with some insurance companies now you have to wait six weeks seven weeks to get the claim approved or before the claim is approved and a check mailed to you Aflac figured wait a minute we can make that process much leaner so what they did was uh, they redesigned the entire process and are now capable of sending you a refund within 24 hours. So if you look at the examples, the <clears throat> lean examples of Amazon, the lean examples of Aflac, the quality examples of uh, Ben and Jerry's ice cream, you can see that lean uh, Six Sigma has a very wide range of applications. And traditionally, people thought about Lean Six Sigma in the factory, but it has grown much beyond that. And it now, uh, it now focuses on everything from lean product development to lean supply chain to lean healthcare to lean manufacturing to lean, uh, to lean assembly and to even lean call centers to make that process more efficient. Yes, endless opportunities. Well, okay. How do I get there? There are basically three levels. There's the yellow belt, then there's the green belt, and then there's the black belt. Now, there's a level above the black belt, that's a master black belt, and I won't mention very much about that now, but for most people who are watching this and are hopefully now are aware of what Lean Six Sigma is, they would probably want to enter into the yellow belt area. The yellow belt is more conceptual. It stays away from the details of statistics, which starts at the green and continues into the black, and then beyond that into the master black, you go into advanced statistics. I would say, because I've been teaching for many decades, that almost anybody that is watching this is, of course, everybody's capable of the yellow, but almost everybody that's, watch, that's watching this is capable of going to the green and the black. Here at Six Sigma Global Institute, we take you step by step. So the concepts and few skills at the yellow belt level are then reviewed and expanded here at the green belt and again reviewed and expanded at the Black Belt. We take you step by step up the mountain, so to speak. So to learn how you can climb that mountain, that ladder, that Six Sigma ladder that we talk about, uh, take a look at our website and, uh, and, and get some more information. I hope this helps. And now you know what is Lean Six Sigma.